this morning Smile at the rising sun Three little birds Having breakfast with Bob Thank you, Pacho Man. Welcome back to Breakfast with Bob from Conan Huggles on the Rocks. My name is Bob Babbitt, brought to you by Master Spas, S Fuels, Right Fuel, Right Time, Hoka, Fly Human Fly, DeBoer Wetsuits, Quintana Rune, of course, our Challenge Athletes Foundation, our next guest from New Zealand, Mr. Ben Hamilton. How you doing, Ben? Good, thanks, Bob. Great to be here. Thanks for having me on. A pleasure to meet you, and this is your first time racing here. Yeah, uh, I've been to Kona before on a family holiday before, but uh, first time here racing, so I'm really looking forward to it. How long you been in town? Uh, since last Tuesday, so a week today. Nice. What do you think so far? Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> the, the vibe is slowly building. Um, there's been quite a few athletes already here, though, scoping it out. So yes. I can't wait to see as the mood just lifts throughout the week. So what got you into the sport? Did you start out with a swim background, run background? Uh, cycling background actually really that is very rare yeah uh so if i talk about my peak cycling years i guess i was like national champion in the road races under 19 wow and got to go race in the junior world cycling champs in 2017 Mm. and pursued cycling for a little bit um and then it got to the end of 2020 and i wanted to do something different right uh so my brother had entered her uh half ironman in taupo uh, in March 2021, and yes. so I thought if he can do it, I can do it. Of and course I, you can. Yeah. yeah. So, Is he younger or older? Uh, he's older. Oh, yeah. Well, um, you can totally crunch him. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> he entered, I entered, and didn't really look back. Did you beat him? Uh, yeah. Like a drum? Yeah. Well, he was hoping to beat me out of the swim, but I still beat him out of the swim. You beat him out of the swim, and yeah. then it was just downhill for him from yeah, there. Yeah, it was a complete robbery. <laughs> I love that. It's, I, it's very rare that somebody comes in with a cycling background. It seems like people come in from swim and, and run. What, the thing about bike racing, unless it's time trial, it's, it's not just necessarily the best guy who wins, right? It's a lot of psychological stuff. There's, you know, you're, you're dependent on your team. Is that one of the reasons you want to move to triathlon, something where you control your own destiny? Yeah, and I can build uh, my own personal relationships and you kind of you could be jumping from one team to the next and not have your own connection with sponsors. Right. Um, and I, w- I didn't like the racing 150 guys in a bunch sprint to try and win. It's, uh, it's a little bit dangerous for my liking. You think? Yeah. yeah. That's scary stuff. Yeah. So, wh- and so you, st- you started out doing age group. I'm assuming. Yes, yep, started age group. Um, so I finished second in my age group in my first one. At that was, topo race? Yes, yeah, well, it was, it was quite a story. Yes. Um, because it was a sprint finish between me and another athlete. Uh, but as they do the wave rolling start, yes. um, we didn't really know oh, who, right. who won. Uh, yeah. But we started one wave apart. So there was five seconds between us, and credit to the a- other athlete for beating me on the day. Um, but then I did a few age group races and then stepped up to pro and did my first pro race in June last year. I mean, yeah, this is all very new, right? Yeah. <laughs> so what you did, you did a Taranga half in 2022 and then what, then you, you were, uh, as a pro, I mean, right? Yeah. So that race is, they were allowing us to race with the pros, but not with not with a pro license okay so i got a nice taste of racing the likes of Braden carry mike phillips how fun uh, is that yeah it was it was pretty surreal at the time <laughs> yeah i bet yeah i mean coming from a cycling background did you know much about those guys uh yes i did yeah. you did yeah you were still a fan of all endurance so yeah you knew pretty them all. much yeah i know they both got a couple of ironman new zealand titles to their name and they were just a few yeah yeah and so then in uh when i look at this you so was your first full new zealand uh, I did a full last year in Korea. Okay. Uh, that was my first one, but my first Ironman full was Ironman New Zealand earlier this year. And you got third? Yes. <laughs> so you're like, oh, it's, this sport's pretty easy. Uh, <laughs> not, not entirely. It was a pretty hard day. Yeah. Well, I don't know. You had 54 minute swim, 421, 247, 808. And it's like, who, now who won? Uh, Steve McKenna. Okay. Oh, we chatted with Steve yesterday. Yeah. The lizard. Um, and then second at 70.3 St. George. And then you go do another Ironman. to do Frankfurt. We, we don't need to talk about that one. What no, not there? really. No. Uh, well, there was, there was Ironman Cairns in there as well, which was equally as oh, bad. Yes. As, oh, yes. Oh, that was um, a DNF. Yeah, it was Frankfurt. We got – Frankfurt was um, – it was okay. I had a small cra- – it was terrible conditions. I crashed on the bike and then Cairns oh, weren't working properly. Yeah, and 
it was uh, one of those ones I've come all this way I should finish yeah, and you should, you know, because yeah. it's a bad habit to get into if you Absolutely. start dropping out. If, you're, if your body's not, if you're not doing damage, yeah. if you have to walk, you have to walk. No big deal. But you learn from those races, too. Absolutely, right? yeah. What would you take away from Ironman Frankfurt? Um, there was a lot of uh, negative kind of thoughts after Cairns. Yes. And to finish Frankfurt, I could kind of put those in the back of my mind and recognize the fact that at the start of the bike, you really have to go with the group. Right. I tried to hold back and be patient, do my thing. When in professional racing, you, it's it's full gas. Right. And but trying to be smart in that situation so you don't completely destroy yourself. <laughs> um, and just fueling. And I was I was proud of myself for finishing, but it was a lot of just mental lessons for me. And and what and so at the DMF, DNF at Cannes, was that mechanical or no I. I was going okay. I was a minute and a half off second at the start of the run. Yeah. Oh, wow. Um, but I just had this kind of stitch in my diaphragm and got to about 30K, and I didn't want to walk the last lap. <laughs> right. Yeah. No, I, 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 I totally get that. Uh, and, and so with those races, you know, again, a lot of times you, you, you win or you learn. And in, yes. Yeah. <laughs> you you take little notes afterwards, figuring okay, how can how can I do something here that uh, make this into a positive? Yeah. But St. George is a is a tough course, and getting second there, yeah, that's impressive. Yeah, that's the the most positive race I've had this year. Um, to go to go across and to finish second to Sam Long, um, yes. in one of probably his best performances this it was. year. Yeah. Um, I know I can take a lot of confidence from that, and that was kind of. A lot of recognition that what I'm doing is working and I belong in the sport. Yep. Um, having only really just started my triathlon journey to have that sort of validation and be up there and beat some really top guys on the day, I was like super happy. So coming from that cycling background, were, I mean, the, was the thought, okay, I'm a pro cyclist here. I should be able to ride by these guys. Not really. Like there's, there's a lot stronger guys out there than me. I think the cycling discipline is what most people will say coming from an age group level stepping wanting to step up to the professional level struggle right. with the most yes because you see some of the like s the horsepower that sam has for instance yes uh, i don't have that but he's he'd be putting 20 30 minutes into age groupers where i'm only losing not as much so right. i didn't have to take that step i just had to improve my swimming and my running exactly I mean, you're coming in with it, and that's always the longest part of the races. So, yeah, you know, yeah. And, and having that there. Uh, had you spent a lot of time time trialing before you got into triathlon, or was that sort of new? Uh, a little bit. I had a time trial bike already, so I could you, jump. Yeah, yeah, I could go across and not be doing my first uh, half Ironman on a road bike. And, um, yeah, it was, so I had that. I yes. had the gear. I had, I had the disc wheel. I had the tri spoke. And the, <laughs> you were all ready to rock. Yeah. And a lot of times when you talk to pro cyclists, they're going, oh, my God, these triathletes can't handle a bike to save their life. I'm hoping I'm one or the other, uh, <laughs> that yeah. I can handle a bike. You but, can handle a bike. Yeah. What yeah. Do you, now, from riding on this course, does this course suit you? Uh, I, think it's, I think it's open to anyone. I think not ri having raced it before mm -hmm. i'm really interested to see just what sort of wind we're going to get on the day right i think that's going to play a huge part into it yes um i'm not sure i think we'll find out like yes. it's it's rolling it's challenging it is rolling um yeah. but it's just i just want to have energy in the second half of the bike really well and for someone like yourself coming here to the to the world's and just looking around and oh there's sam laidlaw there's uh gustav and chris i mean this is the all-stars right this is where everybody is yeah yeah and i haven't raced many of them before uh, right um, so yeah kind of like the first taste to see how you stack <laughs> up but also there's there's no pressure on me there's a lot of pressure on those guys to perform where i just kind of get to go out and have fun you can go out and enjoy yourselves because there's like no expectations right you're yeah. you're the new kid on the block here seeing oh i'm just sort of new in this sport and see what happens yeah exactly have uh, the other new zealand like brad braden curry and those guys have they been encouraging and, and helping you out uh mike's been really great yeah uh, i stayed with him for the first few days when we uh, got here on tuesday last yeah. week um, and I get on really well with him, so he's been super supportive of me and just Good. just talking 
talking and talking shit, really. <laughs> well, you know what's fun about this sport over cycling? A lot of times in cycling, it is a lot of the psychological stuff, and that you're you're only as good as your team. Uh, it, and I think your your other pros understand that you they can't control what you do. It's you against the course and you yeah. against yourself, and you know they, you can be buddies and still go try to kick their ass. Yeah, yeah, and right. that's one of the cool things about coming here is where where the the New Zealand team trying to beat every other country in a way. Right. So not you're not working together, but you'd be proud if a Kiwi guy gets into the top ten or yeah, on the exactly. podium. Um, be kind of rooting for each other if you're not having a good day on the run, you know, trying to help them out yes. with, um, in whatever way you can. So after this, after Kona on Saturday, is then be back in New Zealand training for uh, Taupo, or do you have other stuff? Yes, I've got one more race before that. I have uh, the 70.3 in Bustleton. Uh, it seems uh, in like West a lot Australia. of folks are planning going from here to Bustleton. Yeah, yeah, so I'll go home and then I'll fly across, so it's not too far to go from Auckland. Um, and that's two weeks before Topo, so I'll do that as a bit of a warm-up, yes. um, bit of a hit-out, some more pro series points, and then come back home for a home world champs. So you're following the the point series? Uh, a little bit. Like, it wasn't a major target for me. Okay. More the world champs. Um, Just getting here. And yes. here in Topo. Yeah, so I wanted to race both world champs this year. Kona was the goal and Topo was the goal. Um, but in doing that, you kinda, you've got the bonus point races as well. And so that's why I kind of chased Frankfurt a little bit yeah. um, to maybe give myself a chance. Um, but it wasn't like the major focus this year, being its first edition and stuff. So. so getting on the podium at Ironman New Zealand, your home country, that had to be pretty cool. Yeah, that was um, very surreal. Um, was like, family there? Family was there. The brother um, you beat? Yes, he yeah, he was there. He wasn't <laughs> racing, but um, you might see a glimpse on Saturday, but we've got quite the support oh, you have a big crew. contingent here? They are, like, reasonable size, probably like 8 to 10, um, but very distinctive um, team Gee. hammy oh. um, shirts and quite well done with the two M's being the Iron I Man logo. Um, so there'll be shirts, there'll be hats, and they'll be very vocal. Um, New Zealanders being vocal? Yes. Really? Yeah. That's a surprise. <laughs> I, I didn't know that happened. I thought, very subdued, quiet type of people. Oh, yes, but when they see me, they'll go nuts. <laughs> I love it. Ben, a pleasure to get to meet you. I, I, you're going to have a lot of fun out there on Saturday because, you, again, you're playing with just getting here. That yeah. was the goal, right? You want to get here, play with a little house money, and whatever happens on Saturday happens. Yeah, exactly. No, thank you, Bob. Ben Hamilton has been our guest. Round of applause for Ben. Pacho Man. Rise up this morning. Smile at the rising sun. Three little birds. Have a breakfast with Bob. Thank you, Pacho Man! <laughs>